Well, as temperatures rise, two dozen Baltimore City schools that do not have air conditioning had to close early because of the heat. WJG is live from the school headquarters. Jessica Albert was out at a school this afternoon when the children were released early. Jessica. Denise and Vic, school leaders tell me they do plan to get air conditioning in those schools by the end of next school year. Today, I talked to parents who had to make special arrangements to pick up their kids today, and I also talked to a doctor to get some tips for people dealing with this heat. Scorching temperatures. Kids shouldn't be able to go to school in this kind of condition. Cut the school day short at about 24 schools in Baltimore City that don't have air conditioning on Tuesday. Since there's no air, we got to pick them up early, which it's a fiends with my day. Jade Taylor had to pick up her sister from Cross Country Elementary Middle School. What is it like to have to go to school when it's so hot? Um, horrible. I'm very sweaty. Some of the schools that closed early do have AC, but it's under repair. School leaders say they plan to make sure every school in the city has air conditioning by the end of next school year. It's important to, to stay cool and stay hydrated. And because the heat affects everyone, WJZ spoke with Dr. Mark Olzik from Carroll Hospital. He says people who are not used to being in the heat need to be careful, including older people and those with chronic conditions. He also says people who take certain heart medications, antihistamines, antibiotics, or antidepressants need to be careful too. The primary risk is dehydration, uh, which can lead to, to cramps and eventually to heat exhaustion, which involves nausea and uh, headaches and confusion and just not really feeling well. And if not treated, that can progress all the way to heat stroke. And as of right now, schools that closed early today are scheduled for a full day of school tomorrow. If anything changes, we will, of course, update you here on air and on WJZ.com. Reporting live in Baltimore, Jessica Albert for WJZ.